We've got three games left of the season, but we're seven points from safety. Can we pull off the greatest escape in today's episode of The Rerouted Journeyman? Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again. And yep, massive episode today. We have got Swindon, we've got Scunthorpe, and we've got Colchester all coming up today. We need to win all of them to have any chance of staying in League 2. So let's go and have a very quick look at how we've been getting on since we've last been together and then we're going to jump into today's first game at home against Swindon. We was last together for our monumental victory away at Newport County. Luke Brennan and Jeremy Sivy getting us the goals in that game to give us a much needed boost. And then following that, we drew our next two against Northampton and Salford. And then after that, we lost 2-1 to Forest Green didn't really turn up we got a goal in the 89th minute but we never looked like getting anything out of that game and then since then we have drawn 1-1 against Port Vale we took a very early lead in that game but they equalized in the 20th minute and then there weren't really any more highlights until the last 10 minutes so 1-1 very much deserved result but then a massive soccer of a result. 2-1 against Rochdale. Rochdale, who had gone 11 games unbeaten before we turned up and absolutely smashed them. Jeremy Sivy again with another goal. Amadou Diallo with a goal from the left wing. Very, very nice performance that was. And so, shall we get into the first game? I think we should... Please let us get a win. Come on, lads. This is the team for our first game today. We've gone with a 4-3-3 DM. It's the formation Swindon have struggled against the most this season, apparently. So it's what we're going with. We've got Eastwood in goal. Ogle, Hendry, Odessina, Sterry are our back four. Featherstone, Mooney and Isaac Fletcher are our midfield three. And then up top, we've got Fevrier, Sivy and Amadou Diallo. Please let us get a result today. Come on, boys. First highlight of the game is us with the ball. We're playing it around nicely in the rain. Ogle plays it out wide to Fevrier. Can he take his man on? Nope. He goes to Ogle. Ogle plays it again to Fevrier. They're keeping the ball between them two here. And then Fion Mooney. Fion Mooney trying to get forward, but he loses the ball poorly there to Leiden, in my opinion. But Leiden plays it back to his keeper, who's just played it to Featherstone. Fletcher in space. Diallo's in. Diallo's in and Diallo scored. Is that going to count or is that offside? I think that might have been offside. It was indeed. Ah, oh, that would have been too good to be true. Let's have a look at this on the replay. And yeah, Diallo was just a little bit offside. Two minutes left. We've got a corner ball. Mooney whips it in, but it goes away. And can Mooney get this again? Yes, he does. Mooney, find a teammate, please. Somebody help him. Sterry with the header. Molyneux in space. We've got a penalty. We have a penalty in the last minute of normal time. This is the biggest kick of a football we've had all season. Who's it going to be to take it? It is Mike Fondop. Only just come on. He shoots and he scores. He scores. Hartlepp Hall is still in with a shout of staying up. How do you like that, Jeff Stelling? Yes. Oh, I'm so relieved. Come on. Wow. 
thank God for that last minute penalty. Mike Fondop, the hero of the day. If you look at the stats, we deserve to win. Eight shots, four on target, 1.4 xG. We still live, we still live. Now, let's go and get into our second game of the day against Scunthorpe. It's the biggest game of the week in League 2 as we take on Scunthorpe. A win puts us within three points of them. Please let us get a win today to take our survival fight to the last day of the season. This is the team for today's game. We've changed it up again. Once again, we've looked at the scout report and this is the formation Scunthorpe are most vulnerable to facing. So, we have gone with a 5-2-1-2. We've got Eastwood remaining in goal. We've got Ogle, Hendry, Byrne, Odessina, Sterry as our back five. Daly and Fletcher in the middle of the park. And then up top, it's Hollahan just behind Luke Brennan and Amadou Diallo. We need a result today. Come on, lads. First highlight of the game is us with the ball. Daly out wide to Ogle. Ogle back to Daly to Diallo. Diallo's into the box. He's crossed it in. Brennan with the shot. And that's easily saved by Watson. 25 minutes in now, Daly with a free kick, Diallo's header, and in four, I thought I was going to fall into the back of the net, but apparently not. Odessina, we need some direct action here, we need a win, anything but a win is no good for us today. So now Sterry, he crosses it in, it's headed towards Diallo, and it's a penalty again, we've got a penalty for the second game in a row. This time, Fondop is not on the pitch. So who's going to take this one? It's going to be Daly. Please score, please score, please score. Daly scores for the second game in a row. A penalty gives us the lead and keeps us in with a chance of staying in this division. A brilliant penalty from Daly there, right through the middle. Come on! Gunthorpe have got the ball, Scrimshaw with it, we need to win this back, Pugh crosses it in, Hippolyte's in space, but Eastwood thankfully with the save, and we get it out for a throw in. Kenyon to Pugh, he's crossed it in, Bun's offside, Bun's got to be offside there, oh thankfully he was, but Eastwood's save did just about do the job just in case. And now immediately following that, it's another highlight. Fletcher flicks it on. Hollerhands in. Hollerhands in space and his shot's been saved. Oh, a second goal would be delightful. This game just will not end. Hollerhan with a free kick for us. If this goes in the back of the net, I might just scream the whole street down. But unfortunately not. Yes! Two wins out of two. Come on, we are taking this roller coaster of a season to the last game. I've completely forgotten who we're playing against. Colchester, I think it is. And we're now within two points of Scunthorpe. Come on, lads. Come on. Let's go and get into that last game right now. Here we go. A season that started at Roots Hall in charge of South End United finishes at the Soup Direct Stadium. What a name for a stadium. As manager of Hartlepool, we need a win to give ourselves any chance of staying up. We also need Bristol Rovers to beat Scunthorpe for us. Hopefully they can. A little bit of a thing throwing some spanners in the works is that Colchester also need a win to get their last spot in the League 2 playoffs. Hopefully it can be us that gets the victory. Once again, as we've done with both the other games in today's video, we've gone with the formation our opposition are most vulnerable to facing. We've gone with the 4-3-3 DM. We've got Eastwood in goal, Ogle, Hendry, Odessina, Sterry, 
Featherstone, Daly, Fletcher, Brennan, Shivy, and Diallo. Can they be the heroes to keep us in this league? Come on! First highlight of the game, and we're getting the ball off a Colchester long ball. Sterry to Sivy for us. Sivy goes back to Sterry. Sterry, can he play it long? Nope. Fletcher can. No. Diallo's in. Diallo's in, and he's in space. Diallo's shot has gone over the bar, though. That would have been the perfect start. A couple minutes later, we've got the ball again. Odessina with it. Into Fletcher. To Sivy. Sivy to Featherstone. And out wide to Sivy again. Can he get this into the box? He does. Oh, Smith almost miskicked it there. But he has got it away. But we've got it again. Diallo scores. Diallo scores. We are leading this game of football. And as it stands, we are staying up. Come on. Oh, my days. I love Diallo. What a hero he is. Let's have a look at this nightmare defending from Colchester. What was Smith thinking? Our man got it and Diallo was never going to miss the goal from there. Come on! It's early days, but there is confirmation that as things stand right now, we are staying up and Bristol Rovers have scored. Richards with the goal for them. Come on! 27 minutes gone. Eastwood with the ball for us. Sterry with it. Can he find a teammate? Yes, he does. Fletcher goes long. Diallo's in again. Diallo, if he makes it two, oh, I would have married the man. But no, the keeper's saved it and it's gone out for a corner ball. Come on, let's get this onto somebody's head in a blue and white shirt. Ogle with the outswinger, Sivvy with the header, and yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? Oh, as it stands, Bristol Rovers are 2-0 up. Collins with the goal from the penalty spot. We might just do this, boys and girls. Oh, oh, five minutes been till half time. Sivvy heads the ball away from a Colchester corner, and Dobra with the ball. Can we get this back? Please don't let them score. It's been going so perfectly. Chilvers to Mafiorin with a long shot. And Eastwood thankfully catches that and picks it up nice and easily. And now Ogle with the ball for us. Come on, a second before half time would make me the happiest man in all of South Wales. As now Chilvers with the ball coming forward. And it's a long shot and well... That was shit. You're shit. And you know you are. You're shit. Oh no, shouldn't have said that. Highlights are unstopping here. Chambers with the header. And we've got it away and it's hit the bar. But they have equalised. It's Luke Chambers with the goal. Oh, and as it stands, we're going down. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 45 minutes is all we've got to save ourselves in this league. Colchester have dominated the game. 15 shots to our 8. 8 on target to our 3. A better XG. Lots more possession. Please, come on. I would give anything to win this game of football. I have just lied to the lads there. And I think they can see right through it. Because we have not been the better team. But now just try and boost in their confidence. That's not really worked. That's not a good sign. Come on, boys. 45 minutes. We can do this. Just at the start of the second half, Bristol Rovers are 3-0 up against Scunthorpe. So that game looks done and dusted. All we need is one goal. One goal to keep us in this league. Please let us get it. We're still looking to get that one goal. So we've made a couple of changes. Fondop, who scored the penalty in the first game today. He comes on up top. And Luke Molyneux goes out on the right-hand side. Please, please, please let us do this. We're going to go much... We're going to go a slightly more direct passing. That's what we're going to do. And shoot on sight. And distribute to target man. Come on, come on. I'd give anything to win this. 
Come on, lads. 25 minutes left of the game and Colchester are in behind. I think Chilvers was offside. Why is the referee not blown his whistle? Apparently not. Dobra with it. Chilvers, he's, his cross has been blocked. Dobra with it again. Will his cross be blocked? No, it won't. Matthew with it. And no, Matthew in. No. Oh, maybe, maybe the tactical changes were a mistake. Oh, that might be it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Matthew in with the header, and it was a very nice header, to be fair. Oh, my gosh. We came so, so close to staying up. Oh, Bristol Rovers ended up beating Scunthorpe 4-0. So it was all on us. We can't have any complaints. We were not good enough today to stay up. We've lost the game two goals to one. Colchester deservedly winning that game. 28 shots, 14 on target, XG of 1.84, 58% of the ball. Yeah. Well. That is disappointing. We have indeed been relegated. I'm going to say that wasn't good enough. And then we'll have a look at the league table just to show just how close we was to staying up. And then that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Ah, uh, there. There you can see it. Two points we was away from staying up. We made a fantastic fight of it in the last three games today. But it was not to be. And so, I don't know if I'm going to get sacked or not. I don't know what's going to happen next. But I'm going to leave that on a, on a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cliffhanger. That's the word I'm looking for. So, guys... If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. And I shall see you next time when I don't know where I'm going to be. Am I going to be here? Am I going to be somewhere else? Who knows? Let me know down below what you think is going to happen next. Am I going to get sacked? And follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. So with all that said, I shall see you next time.